travel around the world and share stories with the people you meet, you might learn a lot about yourself and your own views. During the five day, four night trip I had in Iseko, three of the full days were going to be spent snowboarding, weather permitting. I had spent almost four months waiting for this trip. I was taking classes, I was going on trips around the rest of Japan, I was meeting new people. But this is what I really had been waiting for. My final solo trip. When you travel, you share your stories and you listen to others. And most of the time you gain new perspectives. Let's take it back to the Moiwa Lodge where I stayed. Niseko has become a sprawling ski town with new resorts and condos popping up every year. I was surprised and impressed to see new Japanese architecture with traditional styles. On my third day at Moiwa, I didn't actually go snowboarding. I hung out with two of the staff members at the lodge and ran some errands, went shopping, and looked around Niseko. Those who I met working at the lodge were young, enthusiastic people. They were all hospitable, bright-eyed, and had stories to share. So I had no problem just hanging out on the last day. Besides, it was almost Christmas and I felt like I needed some family to hang out with. Dan let me borrow his Canon 70D, which I used to take some B-roll footage, and he and Stu drove me around while we took out trash and went shopping for the Moiwa Lodge Christmas party. My last night in Iseko was going to be one to remember. In Hokkaido, I met people from Australia, people from America, Europe, and other parts of Asia. The thing we all shared in common was our sense of adventure. Here we were, all thousands and thousands of miles away from home, searching for one thing, a good time. And despite the quote unquote lack of snow that week, we all had a good time riding and spending time together at the lodge.